Hello everyone, Ace here, and today, well, let's talk about something a little bit more on the amusing side. One of the greatest examples of something aging extremely poorly in recent memory. In this case, an activist known as at DX from YT, who on Twitter on August 18th of 2022 decided to tweet out, quote, fake Saints Row fans when the woke reboot is a financial success and Volition doesn't go out of business. So considering the fact that the Saints Row reboot not only flopped, but it has been recently revealed has even flopped so hard that it actually took Volition Games out of business altogether. Well, it's not exactly difficult to see the reaction that people have had towards this tweet once it was rediscovered. I myself have already done a shorts on this particular tweet, however there has been some more news that adds to the story even further. As someone decided to get Community Notes involved in this particular situation to further escalate the online beatdown on display. This situation seems to really highlight one of the downsides of trying to virtue signal. Because if you're in an ideological cult, and reality just so happens to differ from your imagination, then you're going to very likely run into a situation like this where you end up giving ammunition to your ideological rivals. Because of people like DX from YT, who made sure to tie wokeness to the Saints Row reboot and the failure of Volition as a direct result, that just makes my job all the more easier to tie wokeness itself to financial failure. It also allows me to demonstrate quite cleanly how yes, gatekeeping does in fact work. The consumer can gatekeep bad companies out of the industry altogether. That is what ultimately happened here. The consumer decided to gatekeep against the company by refusing to buy their woke disaster piece. As a result, the company went out of business. Now, of course, the activist types want you to believe that their patronage alone would be more than enough to sustain the company. Of course, were that the case, then Volition Games would still be standing. Given the reality of the situation, it is quite apparent that the patronage of the woke activists themselves is a far, far lesser concern to the financial success of a company than they would have you believe. And the simplest explanation here is that there are far fewer activists out there than they think there are. The ideas of the far left are simply that unpopular. And again, this particular tweet makes that argument for me in the end. Now, for those curious, I will of course be leaving links in the description below to both the tweet as well as an archive of it, so you can check it out for yourself if you should so desire. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.